To create a new HTML document, launch Notepad++. In the ITS Training Program Computer Labs, click the Start button. Point to All Programs. Point to Notepad++ and select Notepad++. If the text area is not blank, click the New button on the toolbar. Click the File menu and select Save As. The Save As dialog box will appear. In the file name box, type index.html. We name the file index.html to set it as a default home page for our website. Click the Save As Type arrow and select All Types from the list. Click the Desktop button in the left pane of the Save As dialog box. Click the Create New Folder button. Name the new folder Website, and then press the Enter key. Double-click the newly created folder to open it, and then click the Save button. Now that we have created the HTML file, let's add some code to it. Pay close attention to the indentation as seen on screen. Indentation doesn't directly affect the outcome of the page, but it makes things a lot easier to read. To indent, we use the Tab key. With index.html opened in Notepad++, type open bracket exclamation doc type space HTML closing bracket at the top of the page. No closing tag is required for this tag. This doc type statement tells the web browser how to read the code. In this case, this statement is telling Mozilla Firefox that we are using HTML5. Press the Enter key to create a new line. Next, type opening bracket HTML space lang equals quotation en quotation closing bracket. And then create the closing tag by typing opening bracket slash HTML closing bracket. Click in between the two tags and press enter a couple of times to make some space in between them. In between of our opening and closing HTML tags, type opening bracket head closing bracket and close it by typing opening bracket slash head closing bracket. In between these two tags, press enter a couple of times to add some room. In between the head tags we just created, we can add an opening and closing title tag. To add a title tag, type opening bracket, title, closing bracket. Then close it with opening bracket, slash, title, closing bracket. In between the title tags we just created, type HTML Workshop. This title will appear at the top of the window when our web page is open. Place the cursor at the end of the line we just created and press the Enter key to create a new line. Underneath the title tags, we can add a meta tag that will tell our browser what character encoding we are using. Type opening bracket meta space slash closing bracket. This tag is a self-closing tag and doesn't require a full closing tag. Next, we are going to add what is called an attribute to our meta tag. Immediately before the slash of the self-closing tag, type careset equals quotation utf-8 quotation, followed by a space. This is an attribute that modifies the way a tag works. We'll get into them more in a later video. Next, we need to create a new line underneath our closing head tag. To create a new line, Place the cursor at the end of the line that contains the closing head tag and press the Enter key. Finally, on our newly created line, create the opening and closing body tags. Type opening bracket body closing bracket, then close it by typing opening bracket slash body closing bracket. In between these two body tags is where all of our visible content will be. 
everything inside of the head tag will not be visible on the normal web page.